So I was gonna shoot this video in my tent, but it's really not a film studio. It's pretty small in there. So I just brought my ground cloth out from under my tent and set it out here. So today's video is going to be about how to get into a sleeping bag. So a few years ago, several years ago, I, I bought this z -Pax sleeping bag. I'm a cold sleeper. Again, I bought the coldest, warmest they offered. I think maybe five degree, I can't remember, but I like it because it's got a big foot box. I use it 80% of the time as just a quilt and that uh, works out very well. The reason I got a really warm one is because you can always take it off, but you can't always put it on. And so I usually just sleep with my feet in this foot box. Uh, but the way it's designed, you know, sleeping bags I had for half a century had a hood, had a draft collar on the zipper. You know, it just made them a lot heavier. Plus that draft collar was always a pain in the butt. Oh, the zipper always catching in it. And so z -Pak's design is basically, you know, put something else on your head because those hoods were always a pain in the butt. You couldn't twist and turn. You, you know, you feel like you're inside of a python, which might be good practice if you're gonna hike the Florida Trail. Anyway, the other thing is no draft collar on the zipper. And so the idea is to sleep on the zipper. You're gonna be your own draft collar. And uh, maybe I'm slow, I don't know, but it took me a while to figure out, you know, I'd get in this thing and when I did want to zip it up, which is, again, the nice thing about not having a quilt, having an actual bag with a zipper all the way up, is, at least for me, when I'm rolling around at night in a quilt, I'm losing heat that I don't want to lose. You know, you work hard to, to generate it, and I want to keep it in the bag with me. So, uh, you know, the problem was trying to zip this stupid thing up when you're in it. And uh, it's just... It was like impossible. I thought, what were they thinking at first? But then I figured out, well, you dummy, you put it on like a pair of pants, you know, you zip it up, climb in it, and then you just pull it on. How hard is that? <laughs> and so, um, after I figured that out, it's just been a no-brainer. 